In 2021, Intel showcased a functional magnetoelectric spin orbit, MESO, transistor at the IEEE International Electron Devices Meeting, IEDM. This novel transistor, termed a Beyond CMOS device, uses room temperature quantum materials and offers a radically different approach to building transistors and consequently, computers. MESO could be significantly more efficient than existing transistors, potentially providing a boost to AI initiatives across various sectors. Although MESO is still under research, if commercialized, it could mark the most significant progression in computing since the invention of the transistor. This innovation may necessitate changes in electrical engineering education and literature. Previous theoretical research by Intel has suggested that MESO might yield considerable improvements over traditional transistors, regarding energy consumption and chip size. MESO could allow circuits to function at just 100 MV, making it particularly promising for use in AI chips. Intel demonstrated the potential of this new transistor at a recent event. Furthermore, the company unveiled its process roadmap through 2025, intending to leverage it in building its new Intel Foundry service business. According to this roadmap, Intel plans to introduce another substantial, yet more evolutionary, modification to the transistor in 2024 with the launch of Ribbon FET and PowerVIA. MESO stands out as the first transistor among numerous researched alternatives that might have the potential to replace or supplement traditional semiconductors. The following sections will delve into the physics underpinning MESO. Understanding how MESO surpasses CMOS Computing has seen exponential advancement since the invention of transistors, despite the existence of previous computing devices like vacuum tubes. The continual miniaturization of these devices has resulted in Moore's law. The transistor's scalability and its functionality as an on-off switch with gain have contributed significantly to its success. Silicon, a controllable semiconductor when doped with impurities, has been fundamental to transistor fabrication. There have been numerous enhancements to transistors, especially as they entered nanoscale dimensions, aiming to increase speed, decrease power consumption or reduce leakage. One of the most notable advancements was transitioning the transistor from a flat structure to a 3D fin FET. In the forthcoming years, this design will be further refined by the gate all-around transistor, known as Ribbon FET, Intel, or MCFIT, Samsung. However, the basic architecture of a MOSFET remains the same. The current running through the transistor's channel is regulated by applying voltage to the gate. The gate is insulated from the conductive channel, and current only flows from input to output, from source to drain. Numerous alternative structures have been proposed aiming to replicate the MOSFET's on-off switch feature based on different physical properties and mechanisms. Considering this, the MOSFET can be classified as a charge-based, electronic device. Other research devices in this category include the Tunnel FET, which leverages quantum mechanical tunneling, and other device types like Orbitronics, Magnetoelectronics, and Spintronics. However, the practicality of these alternative devices is uncertain. Are they just interesting subjects for researchers, or could they replace silicon in high-volume manufacturing? The response depends on the inherent operating principles of semiconductors, which impose a limit. To function correctly, an on-off switch requires a considerable current difference between the on and off states. This difference is achieved by applying a voltage to the gate. However, the current flowing through a transistor does not change randomly when a voltage is applied. Semiconductors are subject to the laws of statistics and thermodynamics. Given the thermal energy available to electrons at room temperature, there's a fundamental limit to how much the current can decrease as the voltage is lowered. More specifically, the laws of thermodynamics impose an energy distribution to electrons at a certain temperature. The rate of this current decrease, also known as the subthreshold slope, depends on temperature. It is expressed in terms of the millivolts required to increase or decrease the current by 10x. This slope determines the minimum operating voltage of a transistor. A transistor with a steeper slope could operate at a lower voltage, reducing its power consumption and resulting in greater energy efficiency and speed. This limitation is also referred to as the Boltzmann tyranny. Since the switching characteristics of a conventional CMOS device are determined and limited by fundamental physics, 
The only feasible way to overcome this hurdle is to explore devices that operate based on different physical mechanisms. This is the driving force behind the exploration of beyond CMOS devices. Although numerous alternatives to the conventional transistor have been proposed, silicon's decades of research and development make it a hard material to outperform. In a notable 2017 research paper, Intel benchmarked about two dozen beyond CMOS devices. The summary graph revealed that almost no device was faster than HP CMOS, and just a few were lower power than LP CMOS. No single candidate was both faster and lower power. Without substantial improvements over CMOS, it would be questionable to invest billions of dollars in R&D to make such a new switch suitable for high-volume manufacturing, considering other potential complications such as cost. Given the versatility of CMOS and regular semiconductors across various applications, it's unlikely that current CMOS technology will be entirely replaced. Instead, a new technology might be integrated with CMOS to be used exclusively for circuits where it provides significant benefits. Recently, a new device type, MESO, has surfaced, invented by Intel and proposed in a 2018 paper. Intel claimed it could provide substantial benefits compared to CMOS. As it could operate at just 100 MV, it might result in 10 to 30 times higher efficiency. Intel further claimed it could improve logic density by 5x. The MESO device is also non-volatile, meaning it maintains its state when power is turned off, and possesses spintronic properties, enabling new types of circuits suitable for AI. MESO is similar to a transistor, input voltage controls the output current, but it switches at approximately 10x lower voltage than a MOSFET, according to Intel. This reduces the required voltage swing in wires, saving power. However, while MESO resembles a transistor, its architecture and physics significantly differ from traditional semiconductors. It heavily utilizes quantum effects and materials. According to the Beyond CMOS classification, MESO incorporates three types of information carriers, electronics, magnetoelectronics, and spintronics. An intriguing aspect of MESO is that all complexity is confined to the device itself. Information enters the device via a standard charge-based interconnect and exits as an electrical current. Within the device, the charge is first converted to magnetism using the magnetoelectric effect, then converted back to charge using the spin-orbit effect. The device and information flow is depicted in the image below. The device architecture operates as follows in more detail. The input is a ferroelectric capacitor connected to a regular charge-based interconnect. Ferroelectric materials are materials with magnetism controllable via currents, enabling the conversion of charge to magnetism. This ferroelectric material controls a nanomagnet or ferromagnet, which will point north or south depending on its input. Although the nanomagnet signifies the transistor's final state, it must be reverted back to a current. This transformation is made possible through a quantum process known as a spin orbit interaction, specifically the inverse Rashba Edelstein effect. In general, spin-orbit interaction pertains to the interaction between an electron and a magnetic field. More technically, it's described as a relativistic interaction of a particle spin with its movement inside a potential. The rashba edelstein effect converts charge to spin, and its inverse effect translates spin back to charge. When current is applied to the nanomagnet, the inverse rashba edelstein effect yields either a positive or negative current based on the nanomagnet's direction. The nanomagnet's capacity to switch is derived from its thresholding property, where an input voltage directs the nanomagnet through the ferroelectric material. This causes the nanomagnet to orient north or south, resulting in either positive or negative output current. The process of constructing circuits with these devices involves connecting one device's output to the next device's input. For instance, a positive output current in the first device would charge the second device's ferroelectric input capacitor while a negative current would discharge it. Intriguingly, the thresholding property also facilitates the creation of immajority gates by accepting multiple voltage inputs. A majority gate, as the name suggests, outputs a 1 if the majority of its inputs are 1. This concept could explain Intel's claim of a 5x density improvement, as circuits utilizing majority gates could potentially be more compact than conventional CMOS circuits. 
In summary, input charge is converted into a magnetic signal via the ferroelectric material, which controls a nanomagnet. The nanomagnet then determines the output charge, using a quantum effect that translates spin into charge. Comparatively, it's as though the input current directs an electric motor, which then acts as an electric generator to convert the motion back into electricity, similar to a wind turbine. The quantum materials that operate at room temperature, termed as a correlated oxides, and topological states of matter, were highlighted by Intel in 2018 as the key challenges to physically realizing this device. In the broader context of beyond CMOS devices, traditional electronics are based on charge rather than spin slash magnetism. MESO resolves the basic problem of device readout due to the conversion back to charge at the output. In comparison, traditional spintronics exhibit exponential spin decay through an interconnect. MESO uses a collective state switch, which is a transistor that uses spin and whose output relies on a collective order parameter that can take two values. This simply refers to whether the spin is up or down. This switch effectively tackles the Boltzmann tyranny that affects traditional electronics. MESO achieved higher throughput density, tops per cm2, at a significantly lower power density than both CMOS HP and LV. Intel noted that the unique transistor architecture of MESO allows for enhanced interconnect, with requirements for resistance and capacitance up to 100x less stringent than conventional interconnects. This could further improve MESO's efficiency, as modern chip interconnects can consume over half the total power. Intel has also shown that as the MESO device scales down, its characteristics improve, following a cubic trend, and MESO also offers integration and compatibility with CMOS. As for commercializing MESO, achieving this by 2025 might be optimistic, considering the various challenges associated with introducing a fundamentally new technology into production. For instance, even enhancements to standard transistors often take more than a decade to go into production. MESO could either offer an alternative manufacturing technology used alongside conventional CMOS circuits, or replace CMOS completely. Intel could, for example, produce chiplets using MESO transistors, which would then be attached to regular CMOS chiplets. If MESO were to replace CMOS, it's worth noting that this would be due to its improved power efficiency, as claimed by Intel. Intel has set out a multi-year roadmap earlier this year, making it unlikely that MESO will be commercialized this decade. According to the roadmap, Intel would introduce the 18A node in 2025, which would be the first to use next-gen high-NA EUV lithography from ASML. It would succeed the 20A node, where Intel plans to introduce ribbon FET and power via. If the length of the FinFET's use is any indication, Intel would probably further develop the ribbon FET for several more generations before a new technology might be required to keep pace with Moore's law. For example, Intel has already demonstrated stacking both the PMOS and NMOS ribbon FETs on top of each other, which could almost double transistor density. In its current form, Intel plans for MESO and CMOS to exist together on the same chip. In this cooperative scenario, MESO is designed to manage and enhance the energy efficiency of high-power workloads, while CMOS would be tasked with strengthening operations requiring high speed, such as clocking and analog circuits. As of now, Intel stated that, MESO is an add-on to a CMOS process flow and is not included in the definition of a standard CMOS generation. It can be added to any CMOS generation and provide a scalable energy efficiency improvement. First Experimental Implementation In 2021 at IEDM, Intel, in collaboration with various academic institutions, showcased the first experimental implementation of a MESO device, bringing it one step closer to market readiness. This demonstration also sheds more light on the materials utilized. For instance, the magnetoelectric layer, which is the input, consists of bismuth ferrite, bifeo 3 a perovskite oxide. The magnet is a nanostructured cofe element, and the output is a point element. The most challenging aspect of realizing the MESO device has been the reconversion to charge. For the circuit to function, the readout must operate at the same voltage as the right operation. However, a 2020 paper revealed that the readout only functioned at 10 NV, but has since been improved to 100 UV. 
Looking forward, Intel aims to continue enhancing this voltage readout. At IEDM, the company reported that it had found a potential method to achieve 100 MV input voltage switching with thinner multiferric oxide by FeO3 and its doping, and 100 MV output voltage driving of capacitive load, with better quantum materials such as topological materials, 2D electron gases, and functional oxides. Further scaling of the MESO device to tens of nanometers and fabrication of circuits with MESO will then follow, Intel added. Other Advancements Besides MESO, Intel presented several other papers at IEDM, which is a research-oriented engineering conference that offers a peek into the future. The most significant of these papers discussed a chip packaging technology called hybrid bonding. Intel has already announced its intent to use this technology, named it Foveros Direct. Foveros is Intel's 3D packaging technologies line. The standard Foveros uses copper bumps with pitches of 35-45 um. In contrast, hybrid bonding reduces this down to 10 um and below. The advantage here is a higher density of interconnections. Moving beyond CMOS. In the realm of nanotechnology, there are two methods to enhance electronics. First, most R&D is directed towards developing the next generations of conventional electronics, yielding incremental improvements to sustain Moore's law. Since Moore's law is an exponential trend, this approach has proven successful. However, researchers have also been exploring a broad range of beyond CMOS devices that exhibit different properties and are based on alternative physical mechanisms. The main motive for considering these different device architectures is to bypass the Boltzmann tyranny that restricts classical electronics with the aim of significantly improving the energy efficiency of computing. In recent years, MESO has emerged as a leading candidate in this research. Its appeal stems from its design that employs a conventional electronic input and output, but with a conversion to magnetism and then back to charge, happening within the device itself. Moreover, as a spintronic device, MESO can be utilized to construct majority gates. This could make it particularly suitable for applications in AI, as fewer transistors would be needed to create such circuits compared to standard CMOS. Combined with its potential low operating voltage of just 100 MV, MESO could provide a substantial improvement in energy efficiency. With Intel's recent demonstration of the first experimental implementation of this device, it continues to make strides towards transforming this into a technology that may one day replace, or at least supplement, CMOS as the state-of-the-art of process technology.